All right, getting ready to head into battle. Just had my hair cut. The barber shops are open. You can't sit inside, but you can wait outside, which is awesome because it's a beautiful day. Get some fresh air. But today we are doing a repair job where we're going to be stretching a living room and installing some new tackless in two different areas, removing some transition strip that this homeowner placed in to kind of hide the damage his dog did. We're also going to be putting a new piece of padding in where the dog ripped up a bunch of the carpet and then subsequently the pad. And we're also going to be removing two pieces of slime with the steamer and obviously the truck mounted extractor. Maybe some solvent. We'll see how it goes. But it should be a pretty cool video. Um, obviously, we haven't done the job yet, so I don't really know. And if it doesn't turn out, like I always say, you'll never see this. But thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to mash the thumbs up. Leave a comment below of your favorite part. And of course, if you haven't done so yet, and I don't know why you wouldn't have, but please, for crying out loud, subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. This is the walkthrough of our job. You can see the corner there where the dog tore up, actually ate all the padding as well. So we've already doubled up the tackless on that edge, but you can see it doesn't quite meet the transition so um and again i said we were going to be removing some transition pieces but the the homeowner had already removed those so we're just going to add a little bit more tackless and then power stretch that we've also got these two rooms here one slime spot in each one of these bedrooms you can see the blue one down here nice and hard so we're going to use the steamer to warm that up and then try to extract it with an upholstery tool and here's another one really hard piece right there again warm it up with the steamer use the upholstery tool and then a solvent if need be and here we are first thing I did was go ahead and clean up the edges because there was quite a bit of sand and debris uh, preventing the carpet from actually sitting in between the tackless and the transition there so just using the vacuum to clean that up and then a chisel you can see here I'm scraping the concrete because of course they had put down glue and so it just wasn't very even so I went ahead and scraped that with my little chisel there and just vacuumed it up that's the pro team actually wasn't working today I don't know why uh, the brush head wasn't spinning kind of freaked me out I thought maybe the belt was broken so I called my buddy up from Canada Nathan Hawley who has a pro team and first thing he said was why aren't you using a workhorse because <laughs> I actually turned him on to using the workhorse um, when he came out and visited me. Anyway, I he ended up helping me fix it. It was as simple as just hitting the reset button and it worked. So either way, here you can see I went ahead and cut to fit two pieces of tackless and I've removed all the nails that come in the tackless because quite honestly those nails that come with it do not sink into concrete very easily or at all. So you can see my little box of wider nails, a little bit wider in diameter nails and they just do an amazing job to hold the tackless into the concrete. You can probably tell that the other piece of tackless is black or dark color and that's because of water damage which is pretty common uh, next to a door like this is an exterior door obviously going out to the backyard. So now you can see I've taken a piece of padding and this particular type of padding is a stain master which has a I think it's like a plastic uh, protective coating basically on top to prevent urine from seeping down into the padding assuming a pet will you know have an accident if you see the back side of that carpet you can definitely tell pets have how's it going is it lovely truly you get it good and hot with that steamer first yeah good looks good why don't you get the steamer on this one now to get this one warmed up? Okay. Unless you're still using it on that one. Like normal, we had multiple things going at the same time. I drove the minivan with all the repair equipment in it. And you can see I'm putting down tape just to attach the two pieces of padding together for a more seamless uh, transition over the carpet there. Uh, but anyway, they met, Cole and Tristan met me here, and again, they're just working on all of the slime spots while I tackle this repair job. So we were here about 35 minutes. It's a $300 job. 
Uh, the next step after I trimmed up that carpet and got the little frayed pieces was to drag my power stretcher over. Went ahead and attempted to put that together. The hoses were kind of in the way, so I had to move those a little bit, but went ahead and stretched that. You can probably tell by just looking at this video here that this was a pretty good size living room. So after I disengaged, well, after I, you know, set up the power stretcher, disengaged the carpet from the left side of the wall there from the baseboard in the kitchen, uh, it very easily was able to stretch across and accommodate the little gap that we had created. You will see at the end, actually, that there is still just a little piece of carpet missing from the corner, which I anticipated and talked to this gentleman here. He's actually got a contract already got on the home which is really cool. The main reason he's wanting to have this done was just so that the inspection, he passes the inspection. So I offered up a couple different solutions and what we ended up agreeing to was just to do the best I could at stretching and then hopefully have just a little bit of extra carpet, which I did have, to basically glue into that corner in lieu of doing a permanent bonded insert with actually seaming tape and so on and so forth. So this kind of a band-aid on a cancer, but with the overall condition of this carpet, you could actually see the backside of that. Again, this was just getting it to pass the inspection for the new the new owners and they're going to be moving to Pennsylvania they after Cole and Tristan did such an amazing job removing the slime you'll hear them joking around at the end of the video here that they wanted Cole and Tristan to come with them to Pennsylvania and of course I said absolutely not and threatened to fire him if he did that but um, you'll hear I, I do offer up obviously a really cool solution in terms of being able to identify a good cleaner in that area in case they do come across this type of issue again so once I power stretched the first way first direction there you can tell that I went ahead and had to drop some length and then move the power stretcher to go ahead and cinch this edge up here because it was actually gapped it's about a quarter to a half an inch all the way down about three four feet but it did um, turn out really well both the slime and the repair and again we weren't even here an hour and were able to get, uh, I think it was $295 from from this job. And there's a great shot. You can see that little corner piece that we're missing. And again, this extra piece of carpet I was able to just use from when I stretched it the first direction. This buckled up and we had a little extra piece here. So um, overall turned out really, really good. And you'll see here the slime results were just incredible. completely gone not even a trace so absolutely completely gone completely removed the slime remover extraordinaire yeah. but then we're good to go well i got trimmed just a little yeah. bit more on no more slime nope no more slime oh, look at it sweet yeah, we got both spots up. Smells a little like solvent back there, but that'll subside. They rinsed it all out. It just has a really strong right. yeah. odor, that solvent. That's the only way to get it sometimes. No, you'll be fired, Cole. Like, no, Don't even think about it. <laughs> My boss said I'd be fired. So. Yeah, you... Right? <laughs> we just want you to get all our stuff out that they're going to keep putting in the carpets. I'll tell you what, if they do that same thing up there, reach out to me because um, I can network with some cleaners. We network online with a bunch of different carpet cleaners all across the country. And oh, we can, really? We can find you a good company that'll that'll take care of that. You okay, bet. cool. All right, that's the end of the show there, guys. I was not able to narrate with the normal voiceover because I wanted you guys to hear that conversation with our client there. They were very, very happy. Um, but anyway, what I did was just apply some hot glue, pretty obvious, but I put some hot glue on the back side of that piece of carpet and was able to just glue that into the spot there. And I just want to say thanks again so much for taking the time to watch. And if you are outside of our local Camden County area and you are in need of a professional carpet cleaner, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. Like I said in the video there, we'd be happy to connect you. 
with a local in your area, a local company in your area that's very reputable, uh, being that we do network all across the country and actually into Canada. My buddy Nathan Hawley, shout out to him and his brother Mark. Um, but if also if you're going to do it yourself, it would probably behoove you to reach out to us as well because we can give you some really good pointers um, just to help you out as well. But don't forget to subscribe to our channel, mash the thumbs up, and leave a comment below of your favorite part. See you guys soon.